Today we're going to be testing 10 bath swimmers to see if they are true or not. We got these takes from a video and we're going to see if these takes we agree with or we disagree with. Let's get straight into the video. Myth number one is that it is better to dribble with your fingertips than your palms. Usually done with the end of your fingertips, not with the palm of your hand. You should touch the ball with only your fingers. I think this is partially true, but also still a little bit false because although dribbling with your palm does give you a decent amount of control and you start with dribbling with your palm, when you're gonna use a move to dribble, then you're gonna push off your fingertips using more control and more power to make it so the ball stays with you and it doesn't, you, you don't like mess up your handle. <laughs> Myth number two is that it is better to shoot a basketball with your fingertips than shoot a basketball with your palm. I would say this is not true because if you look at a lot of NBA players and elite shooters like myself, um, you start with the ball in our palms and the last second go off fingertips, it's not all fingertips. Myth number three is that putting the ball in front of your eyes while shooting improves aim. Well, this is technically can be true, but it also can be false. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you hold the ball like this and then you shoot, and then it's gonna block your vision. If you hold it up like that for a while, it's gonna block your vision and you're not gonna be able to see it. But when you're in your shooting rotation, if, if you go up and it, you know it's on your eyesight, but it's a little bit above, then it's fine if it goes up for one second. But if you go up for any longer, it's gonna mess up your vision. Like for example, if I'm going like this, pulling it like this, and then shoot it, obviously it's not gonna go in because it's blocking my vision. See, now when you go up and you just do a normal shot, it's gonna, it's gonna catch every single time. Myth number four is that backboard slap layups are actually good. Yeah, I also disagree with this one because they really serve no purpose. I mean, if your goal is just get like the maximum height, there's no purpose about the backboard. It kind of just throws off your shot. Instead, you can just do something like, instead of slapping the backboard, it helps you get a better touch and everything like that. I find that when I slap the backboard, it gives me less touch and I usually end up missing the layup, something like that. Myth number five is that you have to be black to be good at basketball. Myth number six is that you should square up your feet when shooting. So I would say this one's definitely not true. And what's important is that you square your shoulders. You'll see a lot of NBA players like Clay Thompson or Kevin Durant when they shoot. Their feet could be like this, but they can go up and square their shoulders. So on this shot, you'll see when I go for my post fake, my feet will be like this, but I'll get my shoulders squared, which is all that matters for making the shot. Myth number seven is that you should finish overhand when shooting a layup with your left or your weak hand. Honestly, that doesn't matter at all. If you're good at basketball, you should easily be able to finish with your right hand and with your left hand. That's just pure skill and it's really not that hard. And that should be just as easy with the left hand. Myth number eight is that when shooting, you should bring up the ball on your shooting side. Yeah, so I actually agree with this one. Although there are special cases like long the ball to shoot like this, you should generally bring the ball on your shooting side when learning to shoot. Myth number nine is that you should never cross your feet while sliding on defense. This is truthful, I believe, because if you are defending like this, if you get twisted up or if you have to like make a move and you get twisted up, that's just a better chance of getting your ankles broken and being less and just being imbalanced. But if you stay like this and you shuffle, then you're gonna stay more balanced. But there is exceptions. If you are turning and let's say the ball's going this way and you're gonna turn, then you can move your feet and you don't have to keep them uh, perfectly like straight and they can cross if you're gonna be turning. But for the most part, you should be standing in a good starting position and shuffle when you're defending. Myth number 10 is that before you drive, you should not step back on your back foot before driving. Yeah, this one is actually true because um, say you're pump faking and the sweater blows by, a lot of people tend to step back and then go. That wastes like a good half second to a second. That just go straight off of that into a pound to do whatever you want. Definitely do not step back because once you do that, 
that like half second that can change a lot. Another defender can catch up and it could be the difference between a bucket and not a bucket.